A set is a collection of objects or ideas. In order to actually write down a set, we're going to list the elements, um, separate them by commas, and contain them inside a pair of curly braces. If we have two sets, if we let A and B both be sets, then we can talk about the union and the intersection. The union is given by this symbol here. And the intersection is given by a similar symbol, but it's facing down instead of up. We write x is an element of a using the Greek letter epsilon. So if we actually look at the union and the intersection and what they mean, x is going to be an element of the union if it's either in one or it's in the other or it could possibly be in both. Whereas x is in the intersection if x is in A and x is in B. We use this symbol to mean the subset of another set. So A is a subset of B is written like this. As an example, the set containing the elements 2 and 4 is a subset of the set containing the elements 2, 3, 4, 7, 9, and 10 if we have a set A, then we write the complement of A as A prime. This is assuming that the universe is already given. So as an example, if the universe is the alphabet, and we take A to be the vowels, including Y, then we can look at the complement by taking a look at the picture. So we write down all the letters. That's going to be our universe. Everything that's inside a box is our set A. And so the complement is going to be everything that's in the universe that isn't already included in A. So we circle it like this. Everything inside that strangely shaped circle is going to be the complement. <laughs>